Hi, everybody. My name's Tristan. I'm here on behalf of my friends at Pixel Clone. They, uh, they've made this little piece of software called RT Stage, which is a little tool that allows you to project um, your output from Resolume onto a virtual screen, uh, on, onto like a, in a 3D virtual environment. Uh, and, you know, it allows you to look around at your stage and kind of zoom around it a little bit and kind of see how your, the visuals that you've made in Resolume will actually come to look in real life. So that's actually really useful. And it's also really good for, you know, testing purposes or communication with the client and that kind of stuff. So it'll, it, there's, a, there's a lot of reasons to use this. Um, I'm here to show you how to use this coming from, uh, when you're coming from Cinema 4D, because as we know, there's a lot of people that create content in Cinema 4D or are used to using it. And uh, they do have a um, tutorial on the website on how to do this in Blender. Uh, you can just watch it here. And there's um, a little test file uh, that you can download, which uh, we're going to use right now. So I'm in Cinema 4D now. I'm going to import my file. And I've just got to uncheck a few things, I think. I think I need to uncheck invert transparency. Yeah. So we're good. Um, so here we are. This is our uh, stage. Now the scale might be a bit off. As you can see, if I load in the default cube here, um, the stage is actually very small. That's because um, it was made in Blender, and I think it uses a different set of units than the Cinema 4D uses by default. I'm not sure exactly which units you'd need to be working in to export this to um, uh, for use in RT stage, so there might be a little bit of trial and error involved. All I do is I just export this as is, don't change anything, and I think that's fine. You may need to change the scale of your project uh, before exporting, uh, just so you know. I mean, it's, it's, it's fairly simple. I think it's just a question of changing centimeters to millimeters or the other way uh, in the other direction towards meters. That's fine. Um, it's not, it's not going to, like, for, for the purpose of using the software, that's not going to make any difference. It's just something to keep in mind. Now, a few things to, to know when you're uh, working with RT Stage is that the surface that you want to project onto needs to be a separate piece of geometry from the rest of the mesh or from, from the other meshes in the OBJ or in the file. And uh, they need to be... They can be... Uh, they need to be one mesh. They can be separate from each other, like, physically, but they need to be one single mesh and separate from the rest. As you can see, like they're all together here if I check them on and off. Another thing to keep in mind is that the material that you apply to that piece of mesh that, uh, needs to be 100% green. So I'm just going to uncheck transparency, reflectance, and alpha. I don't need those. You only need the color channel. And if I go into RGB mode here, um, by default, it's at, it's at HSV. Just hit RGB. Uh, you can uh, see that the G is 100% uh, at 100%, 255, R and B are at zero. So there's only green coming through here. Uh, and that's what RT Stage actually uses to recognize this as being a surface to project onto. So that's something to keep in mind. So we could actually export this file as is and already use it. But before we do that, I'm just going to go through quickly through um, UV mapping because, like you know, most of you will probably know how to do this. But just in case someone, uh, just in case there's someone that doesn't know how to do this, uh, I'm just going to run through it real quick. So I'm going to head into my body paint UV edit mode, and as you can see, there's already a map applied to this guy. Um, I'm just going to redo it just so you kind of, um, you know, you've seen the workflow. Actually, this is a way that I do it. There's probably there's other ways that you can do it. Um, what you need to know is that. Uh, uh, whatever whatever texture you're using in Cinema 4D, uh, whatever map you're using in Cinema 4D that you create here is going to have to correspond with the output that you send through Spout to RT Stage from Resolute. So it's, it's fairly straightforward. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to do this just quick and dirty. Um, before I head in, one thing I do want to do is I actually want to separate these front surfaces here because as you can see, this whole object is green. And I only want to project onto the front panels here and actually like as it would be on a real LED screen. So <clears throat> I'm just going to do that by selecting the front faces. Check, 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 check. 
boink, 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 boink. Then I'm going to hit U and then P for split. I'm going to head, head into my original and with those with those pl uh, planes still selected, I'm going to hit delete. So now this is split into two pieces. Uh, there you go. It's now a hollow box. So I'm going to take my black material and just stick it over there. And now the front panels, I'm going to reopen them. And there you go. We've got our green front panels. Now these are what we're going to project onto. They're also a separate mesh from the, from the back piece. So that should be all good. So to create our mapping, first thing I'm going to do, this is real quick and dirty, I'm going to uh, take a camera, actually parent it to my planes, hit, um, I have actually have this set up as a, as a little hotkey or a quick button here. If you don't have reset PSR, just go into customization, customize commands, find PSR in here and there you'll find reset PSR. All that is just zero out the uh, position, scale, and rotation of an object. It's just a quick way to do that. There you go. Uh, you can obviously just uh, do it by going into the coordinates and just zeroing out all of this. It's just a, a tool. As you can see, we've got a massive camera here. Uh, I'm going to just go into its view and going to move it up. So we're actually using this camera as a projector. So I'm going to just make sure it's all in frame, nothing's overlapping. There we go, this is a nice frontal projection. So I'm going to add into uh, my material here, hit camera mapping for projection, then choose this camera, set the aspect ratio to 1 or square, and go into my BP UV edit mode and hit generate, uh, right click on my material and hit generate UV coordinates. Do I want the sub objects to be included? No, because that's a camera and we're not actually texturing a camera. So there you go. And as you can see, here are our, here are our little, here's our little UV map with the um, frontal, frontal projection. So I'm just going to head into UV polygon mode, select all of these by hitting zero and dragging over them, hit T for scale, go into the middle here and scale this up so it kind of fit, fills the frame nicely. Now before we head into Resolume with this and, into, and export this, um, what I want to create is a reference that we can actually use in our advanced output in Resolume for uh, mapping these guys onto. So, to do that, I'm going to create a new texture. Uh, 180 by 180 is fine. Uh, by default, this would be 248 or 124, you know, one of those default uh, measurements. I'm using 180 by 180 because it's more of a video standard. Honestly, it doesn't really matter, but it needs to be square. So, got this. Now I'm going to go into, let's see, um, just give me a sec. Yep, into layer create UV mesh layer. So that's going to create these nice little outlines which we can use as a reference in Resolute. So after that's done, I'm going to save my texture. I'm going to save it as a PNG. Does not support layers, that's absolutely fine. And I'm just going to, let's see, let's head into where would I want to put this? RT Stage Cinema 4D Tutorial. Texture ref. Absolutely fine. Okay. Now we're ready for export. Almost. I'm just going to delete my camera. Don't need that anymore. Uh, so now we're ready. We have our uh, stage mesh and we have our separate panels here at the bottom with green texture on them. They've been UV mapped. We're good to go. I'm going to go to File, Export. You can, you can use OBJ and you can use Collada. In this case, I'm going to use Collada. I've had a few problems with OBJ, so I'm not, I haven't quite figured that out yet. Not to worry, Collada works absolutely fine. And by default, I think this has animation checked on as well. I checked it off because there's no animation in it, but I mean, I honestly, I don't think it matters. Hit OK, and I'm going to go into my 
There we go. And now we're going to hit uh, what, what should we call it? Call it uh, RT stage test collada. Yeah, save. I'm such an idiot. Okay, now I'm going to open. Uh, that should be it. Honestly, that should be it. So we're going to head into RT stage. Here's RT stage. Dun -dun -dun. So it's got. Um, it's going to close this down. Close Chrome down. Close Resolume down. Close After Effects down. Close Media Encoder down. There we go. So here we are. Ah, oh, close OB OBS down as well. How about closing files down? Cool. Now we can actually see what's happening. Sweet. So uh, this is our little stage view. Just going to figure out the navigation again. So I can left click and drag, alt click and kind of rotate around. I think no. What was it again? Hi. Right, this was pan. Control click is pan. Left click is drag around. There we go. Yeah. And here we can import our file. Um, so I'm going to hit the little folder here. I'm going to go to my dee -dee 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 -dee. pixel clone stuff. Open my DAE. Bazinga. God, I hate that word. There we go. There's our file. And as you can see, there's a little texture reference on there. That's all well and good. And it works now. So I'm going to head into Resolume Arena. And I'm just going to hit, uh, just for us to see what's going on later on, I'm going to grab one of these default guys, I'm dragging my lines. Let's have them move. Uh, set this into timeline. Go in the other direction. That one's for you, Marine. And hit make them colorful. And make more of them. Make them less wide, and that's fine. They're just lines. Who cares? And now we're going to go into our advanced output. So lo and behold, I've done the work already. But um, just in case you don't know how this works, um, for RT stage, you basically just make uh, make an output. In this case, it's set to spout. Uh, by default, this would be set to virtual output. Set the width to 180, 180, and import your guide, which is the file. I already had one earlier. <laughs> Move along. Nothing to see here. Uh, so I'm just going to drag a new file in there. Whoop, come on. Oh, yeah, God. yeah, that's a thing with the resolume, isn't it? Here we go. Um, mm -mm -mm. So here's our reference file. I'm just going to drag that in here. Set our opacity to 4. And I'm actually pretty close already. Apparently, from the, uh, the time I did this before, wow, it's really close. This could actually theoretically just already work. But uh, bear, me, bear with me for a, for a few seconds here while I just line the uh, line these up. So basically, you know, you just match this. You just ma match this ma this mapping you you made in uh, Cinema. There you go. That's just gonna map. I'm gonna spare you, spare you the time of uh, you know going through all of this, look, watching me painstakingly create new slices for every. Thing, so I figured I might as well just go ahead and do this first, and most of you will probably already know how, to, how this works, so there we go. So obviously this isn't pixel perfect, um, that's absolutely fine, we're just going to have a look at what it looks like. Doink, doink, doink. Sweet. Okay. Bring back down my guide, so this should be good. Uh, I'm just going to set it to spout, spout out, and just reset my sizes. So width is 180, height is 180. Uh, in my input, I'm just going to hit match output shape and just drag it into the middle. Uh, yeah, I reckon that's probably going to be fine for now. So we've got our little uh, guy over here. I'm just going to split my up my screens like this so we can actually move around and now I actually want to see this so if I go in here I should be able to hit refresh 
arena. And there you go. Isn't that cool? It works. It just works. Very, very cool. So just to, to see that it's all matching, let's find something with more of a centered image, like these rings. Find a preset. Do, do, do. Something visible. There we go. Yeah. Huh, colors even match. Awesome. So yeah, that's uh, RT stage coming from Cinema 4D. I hope this was useful and that um, you enjoy the program and uh, have a wonderful day. Peace.